locked. Uh, so I'm stuck in here trying to figure it out. Locked. Alright, so there's nobody on the left side. Right side? Pumpkins didn't change. Oh, now that was a great party! Ah. They at least say something. Alright, so the only place left was outside. Okay, so what do I do? Can't go in. Don't want to disturb them. Yes. Oh, budge. Ah, here we go. This is scary. The small doll stands eternally covered in a thick layer of dust. Antique porcelain vases rest on the tall dresser. Eternally holding a cup of tea, the mechanical doll awaits its next errand. Ah, I'm here. I don't like these masks. It's huge. Her old vest hangs loosely, its once glorious patterns now faded. Hmm. Maybe I could. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a long way forward, so probably knock. <laughs> Angel, you called. Angel? I'm so glad you actually called me. Oh, I... Hmm, what's the matter? My name isn't Angel. Huh, what do you mean? Harpe... Harpe told me that wasn't my name and that I shouldn't talk to you. So you chose to believe her instead? That's understandable, don't worry, Angel. I guess it is a bit too much to ask of you, after all. I... Oh, that's all right. You're free to believe in whatever you'd like, Angel. Just don't forget, I'll always be here waiting for you. Angel... Yes? It's... it's nothing. Why did you call me? Did something happen? I got separated from our pay. I ended up in this place and I don't know what I should do. Something horrible happened at the party now, too. You mean the murder earlier? How'd you know about that? <laughs> and Joe, you're so silly, I know everything. I am you, remember? <laughs> so what are you going to do about it? Huh? About what? 
about the murder? Are you listening to me? I... I'm sorry, Enjo. I'm just a little confused. Listen, Enjo. I'm not forcing you to believe me. But I am saying the truth. All I'm trying to do is help you get out of this place. I want to be reunited with you as soon as possible. I need your help to be together with you again. But please, don't let her pay fool you. Or pay is only trying to help me, too. I'm sorry. I just don't know what I should believe in anymore. That's fine, Angel. We have time, and besides, I will always be here for you. I promise you, I will tell you everything I know once you find me. But for now, let's try to get you out of this mess. Angel. Hmm? Thank you. Don't be silly now. We should try to help each other, right? Yes! And my best guess is to talk to the guests and try to figure out how to leave. I see, I'll try that. Don't be scared, Angel. You can come talk to me whenever you want. Let's try getting you out of here together. Yes! Good luck out there. Hmm. Try knocking again. And Joe? Hmm. Okay. No, not every time, but... Ah, people have moved. Alright. Oh my, what's such a pretty girl like yourself doing here? I, uh... I'd never seen you before. Who invited you? Miss? I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm sorry, my girl. I didn't mean to upset you earlier. Have fun at the party, will you? This party is ruined now. I want to go home. Don't you think the people here are a bit fake? Oh, I... Oh, never mind. If we don't find the culprit tonight, they might strike again. Oop, there's somebody right there. This unfortunate event has truly ruined this unique gathering. I was looking forward to discussing my newest business ideas with the host of the party. I see. Hope to find the culprit soon. Hmm. Oh, here she is, here she is! What? You're that girl who wasn't invited. But don't worry, we won't tell. We won't tell, we won't tell. Thank you, I guess. You're very pretty, miss. She is, she really is. Oh, I. Doesn't she remind you of the dolls at our grandmother's house? She does, she does. Especially that one with the rat's nest on her head. Right, right. Hmm. <laughs> very pretty, miss. Uh, okay, that's, that's gonna be repeat. Okay, that was the same. Eek. Oh, my eye! Ooh. Eavesdrop. I wonder if anyone will be put to blame tonight. Of course not, don't be silly. We all agree that it was for the better, no one even liked the poor girl. I'm sure they're just taking their time to clean up that mess before we can go back to the Grand Hall. You do have a point there, my dear. I'm sure it took some courage to do it. They must have. Look at how she was dressed. Such a light-colored dress would have gotten stained in a matter of seconds. 
Knowing that person, she probably didn't even break a sweat. Indeed. They do say the fiercest women always go to the extremes to prove their point. I wonder if she has a new target. I hope it isn't me. <laughs> Don't be silly now. You know she has no interest in men whatsoever. Isn't that just a rumor? I wouldn't doubt it. Rumors do go a long way nowadays. Hmm. Alright, so it repeats. <laughs> These kinds of events aren't really my cup of tea. I prefer to stay at home and read a good book. That does sound a lot more pleasant. Tell me, miss. Yes. This might be a pesterous question, but... Have any of the guests been rude to you this evening? Yes, they have. But it's fine, I don't mind it. It's no use lying to yourself, miss. There's no need for you to tolerate such abuse. But I don't know how to react to that kind of situation. Sometimes it is best to walk away. You see. Thank you. I hate rude people. Okay, that room's still off limits. I heard some rumors about the victim. Are you interested? Ah, yes. Aha, I know it, I know it. What? You weren't even invited to this party. I'd stop making a fool of myself if I were you. What do you want? Go peek first. Ah. Oh. Okay, red and yellow. Red and blue. Purple. Red. Huh. He's drop. Such a shame the party was interrupted. Shame, I think she get what she deserved. She had been wearing the same trends as us. Talk about copycats. Too bad she was so ugly she couldn't even compare to our glamour. True, we need to hold our positions as the most stylish. <laughs> Let's stop talking about the dead now, ladies. More importantly, did you know about the most recent trend? I don't think I have. Oh, is it the French hairdos? Not necessarily, I was talking about English home deco. What was that about the French hairdos? It's the most recent trend in France to dye your hair in extravagant colors. So that was how she achieved that amazing color. I wonder if we will get to dry it soon as well. Who would have thought being a redhead was in fashion nowadays? That person sure is trendy. Perhaps we should invite her to be part of our glamorous meetings. Oh, but what if she finds us ugly? You do have a point there. <laughs> At least we got rid of the ugliest of them all. Hmm... Very sorry for the victim, she wasn't that ugly. You're much uglier than her, so why was she the one who died? The world can be a harsh place sometimes. You still again? You're very pretty, miss. Oh wait, no, yep. They just moved. Okay, then. If we don't find the culprit tonight, they might strike again. What do you need, little girl? I... Oh, it's nothing. Don't you think the people here are a bit fake? Oh, I... Oh, never mind. Ah, is that one again? Those two again. Hmm. Oh. 
broke. Completely corrupted by the passage of time, an old grandfather clock rests motionless. Various pieces of broken furniture lie piled up in the corner. Hmm. Uh oh. Is this a dictionary? The pages are all torn and scribbled. O. P. Here, father. Ah. Hmm. Peek first. White and red. That's it. Blue and red. We looked at her shoes. They were hideous. No wonder she got targeted. Haha. -ha. Now, now, ladies, you mustn't forget about the Countess's hair. Looks like a rat's nest, that's what it looks like. I'm not surprised, though. Do you know how old she is? Did she tell you? She never talks about her age. Her husband once said she was 45. How scandalous. She always says she's around 30. More importantly now, girls, have you seen that person's ribbon? Ah yes, it was marvelous. Such a sophisticated choice of color. Indeed, her style has never disappointed me. The color of that ribbon goes amazingly well with her hair. Too bad you can't say the same about the old witch. Poor woman, I actually feel sorry for her. Well, I don't feel bad for filthy liars. You know what I heard about her earlier? What, what? Don't leave us hanging. They say she's actually a ghost of a cursed widow. And that if you talk to her after midnight, she will take your soul. Are you serious? That's so frightening. It's probably true, too. Hmm. The nerve of some people. Is everything alright? No, actually, it's not. I can't stand how conceited people are nowadays. They have no idea what the latest trends are, but insist on discussing them. Ah, I see. They haven't even gone to Paris and yet tried to sound smart by discussing imaginary trends. Especially that person, dyeing your hair red isn't even a trend anymore. I'm done with discussing these matters with ignorant people. What about you? Do you know anything about the new trends? Oh, I... not really. I'm fine. It's not like I was expecting anything from such a pitiful girl in the first place. Oh? I don't talk with ignorant people like yourself. Hmm. Okay. Last room. Do a knock. You're here. Is there anything you need? For how long have you been waiting for me? For a while now. I've lost track of time, actually. In jail. But it's alright, we've found each other, so we're one step closer. Yes, you're right. Let's hurry now. Yes. Angel? Back again. Is there anything you need? Angel, where are you? Why can't you come to me? That's... I don't know how to explain. It's fine. You don't have to tell me, I was just curious. I'm sorry, Angel. I just need you to trust me. I do. I see. Thank you, Angel. Well then, if you need anything, just knock, alright? Yes, of course. Angel? Hmm. You're here. 
everything you need. Oh, do you have a pocket mirror too? I'd rather not talk about that. I'm I'm sorry. Didn't mean to upset you, Angel. Just please take good care of it. What do you mean? Angel? You're here. Is there anything you need? Don't you ever feel lonely? I do. I see. You do too, don't you? Yes, but it's a different feeling than just feeling alone, isn't it? How do you... I am you, remember? More than being alone and feeling lonely. It's the feeling that there is something missing. I can't quite express it in words, but I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. I do. I, I really do. At least now we know just what we we're missing, don't we? Each other? Yes. Thank you, Angel. Huh? What are you thanking me for all of a sudden? It's just... It's reassuring to know what I'm here to do, and to know that you feel the same as me. I feel like I'm not alone anymore, and it's all thanks to you, Angel. So thank you. You really are a genuinely kind girl, aren't you? If you say so. Angel... You're here! Is there anything you need? Ah, and okay, and finally looped. Okay. Talk to that one. Talk to that one. I think we talk to that one too. Okay, so we haven't checked the courtyard yet. I'm, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Ah, I... That's fine, little girl. I understand you'd feel scared finding an old lady like myself wandering in the dark. Tell me, what are you doing around these parts? Oh, I was just taking a walk. I see, I see. The moon sure is charming tonight, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, well, I won't take any more of your time. It was a pleasure meeting you, little girl. Hmm. Why would the others pick on such a nice lady? Are you alright? Oh, it's you. Yes, I am. Thank you for your concern. Just that I've lost my handkerchief somewhere and I can't seem to find it. I can help you look for it if you'd like. Did you do that for me? Of course. Thank you, little girl. You're welcome. Hmm. And there it is. I think this might be it. Uh oh. That is a death. Hmm. Okay, that's the courtyard, there's nothing in it. White with red.
Hey, miss, where do you think you're going? Oh, I, uh, I love in there. But I, I'm sorry, miss, I can't leave through. Okay. So how do I progress here? Women are beautiful, yet very complicated creatures, don't you think? How do you say that? They tend to have mixed feelings about things and can be very misleading. For example, I know from personal experience that women lie about who they hate and only tell the truth about the ones they like. Is, is that so? You shouldn't trust anyone, my girl, especially women. Have to keep going around. Oh. We need to find a culprit as soon as possible. Okay. Talked to them before. Before did that, okay. Did hmm. Ah, okay. Now, uh, now we have something. Okay, so let's go save the spot. Just in case we pick the wrong person. We have a place to get back to. again. I think it's going to be the one with the white and red, maybe? So D, E, and F. Okay. And there's only one room over here. <laughs> so 
So either the white with red or the blue with red? Maybe. I I found a culprit. I know who the culprit is. Please don't make that sort of a joke in this kind of situation. Don't you have any decency? No, I'm serious. I really know who it is. Oh, do you now? Yes. All right then, Miss Detective. I gather the guests, and we'll see if you're right. Oh, all right. Ah, sure, it was L. Attention, please. This little girl has claims she knows who the culprit is. Silence, please. Now tell us, miss. Who do you think is the author of this crime? I... Ooh. Blue dress or white dress? There are several white dresses. There's one blue dress. White dress? Hmm. I think it was the lady in the white dress. Unexpectedly, there are two ladies wearing white dresses tonight, so if the two would step out, please. Ah, uh, yep. Which of these young ladies would you say is the culprit? I... This is ridiculous. I would never commit such a crime. There's no way a child would know who the culprit is. I agree, this is completely outrageous. Please, ladies, keep calm. How can we be calm in this situation? We're being accused of something we didn't do. I'm sorry, I just... Where's your proof anyway? I can guarantee you I'm not the culprit. This other woman is the culprit. Me? I'm not like these other mademoiselles. I'm innocent. Silence! Now please, tell me who the culprit is, miss. Ooh. Lady on the... left. I suspect the lady on the left. This is unacceptable. Me an assassin? Don't be ridiculous. Is the girl right? Are you the murderer? No, I'm innocent. I would be ashamed to have something like this happen in my own event. How could you allow a child to insult us? We are your guests. This is truly insulting. You are right, young lady. I apologize for my behavior. As for you, my girl, you will be punished for your shameful demeanor. No, wait. I can explain. Well, let's take her to that room immediately. Oh, please. 